आगे से एम एस क्यू टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवन नेक्स्ट एक क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ओके रीड आउट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट सीज लेट एल्फा एंड बीटा बी टू पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर एंड देन यू गिवन दिस राइट सो यू नीड टू गो अहेड एंड यू नीड टू ट्राई लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो वन प्लस एक्स टू द पावर एल्फा अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स टू द पावर बीटा एंड हियर यू हैव माइनस वन एंड हियर यू हैव प्लस वन Now you need to go ahead and you need to understand this thing that when I am going to take x at zero, if I will plug zero here and zero here, I will get one minus one upon one plus upon one minus one, which will be zero by zero form. So I can go ahead and use log it out here. So I am going to differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately in this case. So differentiation of numerator will give me alpha one plus x to the power alpha minus one. Denominator will give me beta one plus x to the power beta minus one, and limit x tends to zero. And now when I go ahead and I will put x as zero, what am I going to go ahead and get? It will be alpha one plus zero to the power alpha minus one upon beta one plus zero to the power beta minus one. So it will give me alpha by beta, and that would be the answer to this. Question. Okay, now let's go ahead and take this this exam uh, question. So it says, suppose x is an odd number, then x square minus one would be. So take any odd number. Let's say I take x to be three. So three square minus one will give me nine minus one. That means I will get the answer as eight, right? And I know eight is a is a composite number, right? Eight is a composite number. so the first part says it is odd so clearly it is not odd it is even it is necessarily positive um so i am just taking x to be an odd number right so if i take x to be odd i can take x to be say minus 3 minus 1 right 1 and so on and so forth so suppose i go ahead and i take x to be 1 So one square minus one is one minus one. That is zero, right? And zero is not considered as a negative, as a positive number. Zero is considered as a non-negative number, right? It is neither. It is neither uh, negative nor positive. So this is also incorrect, right? And then it says not prime, which is correct because I got it to be composite, so it is not prime, right? And uh, you know. If I am able to find even one example of it not being prime, so I can go ahead and say that it is not prime. So answer would be C. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. So another thing, sorry, which I can go ahead and say here. So just try to understand this thing. So x is an is a is given to be an odd number. Whenever you square any odd number, you get a odd number. So x square will also be odd. Now, when you go ahead and you subtract one from it, it becomes even, and any even number will be composite number. It will be it will be a multiple of two, right? Uh, so you take x to be any number. Say I x I take x to be five. So five square is twenty five minus one is twenty four. It's an even number. Since it is even, it is definitely divisible by you know it's a multiple of two, and since it's a multiple of two, it will be composite, right? There will be one more factor that it will have, which will be two. So therefore, we can go ahead and say that it will not be a prime number. Okay, come to the next question. So this is the value of k for which the function is a probability density function between zero to one. Very simple question. So the the property of a probability density function is if I just integrate it within the interval given to me, then its integration should be one. So I am given this f x, which is k e to the power e uh, k x. Uh, k e to the power k x, and you know the interval I am given is zero to one. So if I integrate this between zero to one, so what will happen? So basically, we will see that k will come out. It will be integration of e to the power k x from zero to one, and you will notice that here integration of e to the power k x will be e to the power k x by k from zero to one. This should be equal to one, so this will cancel out. So I will get e to the power k into into one minus e to the power k into zero should be one. So e to the power k anything to the power zero is one. So I will get e to the power k is equal to one plus one. So e to the power k will be two. Now I can just take log on both sides. So ln e to the power k will be ln two. 
So K ln E will be ln 2, ln E is 1. So K will be ln 2. So the right answer to this question will be ln 2. First one. Hmm? Okay. P and Q are positive integers such that P square minus Q square is prime number. So let's say P is 2. Let's say Q is 1. Both are positive integers. It does not tell me whether they are even or not or they are odd or not. It just tells me that they are positive integers. Now when I do P square minus Q square, I realize that I will get 4 minus 1 which is 3. It is asking me what happens to P minus Q. So if I do P minus Q, I will get 2 minus 1 which is 1. So clearly 1 is neither prime nor composite. So A is cancelled. Clearly it is not even number. So B is also cancelled. Clearly it is an odd number but it is not greater than 1. So C is also cancelled. So the correct answer to this will be none of these above. Okay. Come to the next question. Any non-decreasing function described on the interval A, B is. So, so try to understand this that. I can go ahead and take x to be the greatest integer function, right? And we clearly know that x is a discontinuous function. And since x is a discontinuous function, therefore, we can go ahead and say that it is a, a non-differentiable function at each point of discontinuity. So we can therefore go ahead and say that because it is discontinuous, it is non-differentiable also. So, uh, so, a, B and C cannot hold true and therefore the answer will be none of the above. Right? Okay. 